Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know who I am, I am Michael to Tania. If you do know who I am, hello, welcome, welcome back. Today is August 7th. I would say my official first day to school. School actually started last week on August 3rd or 4th, I believe. But I consider the first day of the week my first day of school. So I'm super excited to be taking you guys along with me for this first day. Right now it is 6 o'clock a.m. on the dot right now. So I have an hour to get ready. I usually try to leave the house around 6.50 to maybe 7 o'clock depending on what I'm doing. I should be able to leave the house by 6.50 though. The video might push me behind like 5 minutes because this year I'm be more personable and more detail about my routine if y'all want any more back to school content then just let me know in the comments down below and i'll try to make it happen for you guys but um for making this video i sent a lot of people for first day of school i sent a lot of people first day of school and i'm like i don't hear nobody talking about how good this year is gonna be so in Jesus name my junior year is going to be good I'm not going to have to worry about anything everything that I need is going to be given to me um including information um advice feedback etc everything is going to be given to me um I'm going to walk into this school year strong and then I'm going to walk out of it bigger and better having more wisdom than I already have and this is going to be a good good year i'm definitely ready to put myself to the test and to see how focused i can stay on school because that's really my only focus right now but i've been talking for a long time so let's just get into this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe do all that good, good stuff and without further ado let's get into the video okay i think i'm gonna call this like the infamous role because I always have the same robe on, and I have, what, three different robes, but I always put this robe on when I'm on YouTube for some odd reason. Now, right now, I'm about to brush my teeth and wash my face, um, because, like, that's, like, what takes the longest. My clothes are already picked out. I picked out all my clothes for the week. Let's just see, let's just see, um, where, how we feeling after I brush my teeth, wash my face. Put on a little mascara and yeah. Alrighty, so now the camera is changed and I am about to wash my face. Um so when it comes to like the skin products I use, I'm not going to say there, but I am going to show me washing my face. And the reason why I'm not saying like the skincare I use because this is not like a really morning routine. It's just like to get ready with me. But if you guys want a school detailed morning routine, then just let me know. And then that's when I'll be showing y'all my skincare, what products I use, how, where my clothes from and all that. Like, yeah, I'll be showing y'all all of that. So just like that, I am done washing my face and now it's time to move on to the second part of my skincare routine. Okay, so while I do my skincare routine, I thought it was a good idea if maybe I talk about three things that I'm changing differently this school year from my past school years of high school. Now obviously this is my third year in high school and I feel like I kind of get the gist of everything now. And I still feel like this year is going to be the best year. Especially because how I started it. I started my junior year before school started, if that makes sense. I hope y'all understand what I mean. Like, I literally started my, my my junior year before I started my junior year. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same with my senior year. But, like, I started, I started like, getting myself prepared. Like, I, like not clothes-wise, but, 
like mentally and like academically i was really getting myself together and i was just trying to make sure that i was prepared because some people say your freshman year the hardest some people say your sophomore year the hardest i say that my sophomore year was definitely the hardest year i've had so far but as far as like which year like after i graduate and i go to college what year i think will remain the hardest is probably sophomore year like sophomore year both mentally socially and emotionally which is training but i'm glad that i learned these these three things moving on forward in my next year and a half of high school my first little change that i made is one i ain't focusing no more on no boys or no friends i'm there to do one thing and that's to get my education and leave and I feel like with this mindset, now I could like really focus on what needs to be focused on. I never was like a bad student, like failing or anything. But when I was like in elementary school in some, like I think like sixth grade, I kind of was, was like, I was like a B average student. I know I had the potential to be a better student. I just didn't know that it would take hard work and dedication i just thought people was just making them grades because they was turning in assignments but to turn in assignments you gotta know what you're learning and you gotta know you gotta understand like the concept of the things that you be learning at school every day and in eighth grade that was my first year making a b honor roll and i love the feeling of it i don't know what it was <laughs> but i just love the feeling of kind of being in the in a higher quartile quartile yeah i just felt like when i got to high school and even though i made straight a's and b's when i got to high school and i even made straight a's one year i still felt like mentally and emotionally it was draining and i probably could have did some things differently to stop that mental social emotional drainage if that i'm done with like my skincare my skin is a little oily but that's because of the bio oil i put on my face so definitely just being able to be more focused on what's important which is getting my education education always comes first and i feel like some people can get sidetracked from that concept or that mindset when they're in high school and i understand um i just as a junior that's that's what comes first and that's what you need to do if you want to be successful that's really just my first thing. Stay and focus on the things that matter because what matters is getting the education, good, getting good grades, and moving on in your senior year. And also, people don't tell you this, but if you do excellent in your junior year, you your senior year would be a breeze because some people have to work hard their senior year to catch up for all the times that they missed out on or catch up for all the times that they, they kind of skipped out on. Yeah. Second is, I'm not going to be worried about no friends this year. Like, Mm -mm. I'm not mm -mm. people say that you you either meet your long time friends or you meet like different experiences and the people different people that cause different experience for your life forever and I've definitely met some people in my life that I that kind of like dictate how I look at life at this point from now on. And I think that's good. Um, if it ain't the people that I already talked to, like the three or four or five people I talked to, and my one friend that I got, it's just like, like what's the point of me even dealing with that? I feel like this year is not no year for no drama. This year is not no year to be confused about who your friend and who you're not. I don't got time for that. I came in high school with the goal and I'm leaving that with my goal completed. Period. That's all I need to say on that. But um, yeah. So second again is just not no new friends, no trying to figure out the this the friendship thing and worrying about if whether I'm gonna be lonely or not. Uh uh, I ain't got time to worry about that. I need to focus on my education, period. I need to focus academically. I didn't like a lot from people that just seemed like it was your friend and really was not like seemed like they care and really like did, just did not care. And I'm not dealing with that no more. I didn't learn my lesson. I've been I've done it. I can finally tell other people, don't waste your time on friends because most likely they ain't gonna be there for you all the time. And last and finally, I need to start studying more. <laughs> Because I'm in like the top 25% of my class rank or whatever. And if I want to be at least top 10, I got to start studying more. <laughs> Period. I didn't need to start studying more. I feel like if I study more and effectively, I can end up boosting my grades higher than I ever expected. And I can start doing good on standardized tests. Because I think I'm quite intelligent. Like people tell me that I'm intelligent and I got good minds or whatever. But when it comes to standardized tests, 
I get B's and sometimes C's and I be just trying to figure out why but that's only because not everyone is a test taker but if you learn how to take a standardized test you hit the jackpot. I think standardized test is like 15% of your grades so that definitely matters. <laughs> So if you're not, if you're good at all the classwork assignments, but you're not good at standardized tests, it's like the standardized tests will bring your grade lower. So I just need to start studying more effectively. And if I study more effectively, I'll be able to do better on my standardized tests. I wouldn't be making mediocre, you know, I wouldn't be making mediocre grades. I'll be making the good grades that I know I can get if I work hard and diligently. Let's move on to the outfit because I'm done with the talking outfit for today um something chill i'm not gonna ask something chill for sure i'm just like thinking and nobody will be wearing shorts to school because it's august like who's gonna be wearing shorts to school but i've seen people wearing shorts so that let me know that shorts is back i mean not, not shorts is back but i can still wear shorts the deadline isn't until like mid-august i guess i don't know i'm thinking about wearing this i took some pictures in it but i never got a chance to wear it out nowhere so what it is is it's like this tank top and and the shorts kind of look short but they stretch out so like they're not that short on me um but yeah so the top and the bottoms they go together but let me put this outfit on let me see what it look like and i'll be back with y'all let's put my jewelry on because right now it is 6.35. Let me put something on my lip. Oh, no, I knew that later. So I got this heart ring that I'm about to put on. And this Pandora wishbone ring, I think. Wishbone? Yeah, wishbone ring. Um, and then I have these coach earrings that I got. My auntie on my dad's side bought for me. Okay, and then... Now it's time for my bracelet. Nice and lace. Okay. Okay, now I got my necklace on, my, my earrings, my bracelet, my Apple Watch, my rings. I'm good. Now it's time for me to oil my it's time for me to oil my legs and my arms yeah i tried to say something but you can, couldn't get it out and no i'm not talking about expressing your love to your to your first love i'm talking about just regular stuff regular stuff it's not like sandpaper oh my arms i don't know why i'm designed to do this right now Alright, now time for hair. So, this is the hairstyle. This is the hairstyle that I have. Let me fix it. And then I'll have a cat with y'all. So, hold on. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Okay, so this is the hairstyle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For like the, like for the real first day of school, I had a different hairstyle, but... I don't know if I'm going to keep it in the middle or do a side part, which I think, side or middle. Side or middle? You say side or middle? See, the only thing is, I don't want to talk to y'all, but y'all can't respond, so side or middle like y'all, side or middle. Let's do the middle today, because it's new, because it's new, I'm going to do the middle. And it starts to look old and rugged. Mm -hmm. Then I'll go on the hair side. Till then, we want to keep it in the middle, I guess. Even though I don't really think it's... Mm. Alright. So, this is the look of today. Let me get y'all. So, hair. Let me show y'all up close. And outfit. Chain. Per Princess Miguel. And then... I don't know if y'all can see or not, but shoes. Let's finish doing the rest of the stuff that we need to do. And um, let's get out for school. 
Oh, and I forgot to show y'all one thing. One thing I forgot to show y'all was me putting on my perfume. I slept on the in my mama room because she got like a wide span of collection. She got a wider span of like collection perfume. But for me, what I'm going to do today is because I have the Prada candy right here and I have the wrapped in vanilla body lotion from um bath and body works and they're both sweet fragrances what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take some of the lotion just a little bit i don't need too much i'm gonna rub it in i'm gonna rub some on my arms and then i'm gonna rub it on my neck because that's like where the main area of the stuff is gonna be and because again it already smells sweet it's gonna go with the sweet product candy and I feel like I kind of only wear the product candy on like special occasions. So like first week of school, business appointments, interviews, etc. And then I go in with the product candy. This is it right here. It's not really focusing, but hopefully y'all can see it. I'm just going to spray just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way with this stuff. And you don't need a lot. On the Bath and Body Works spray, I'll be putting a lot on. But that's only because I need to put a lot the thing is, I don't need to put a lot when it comes to like a fine fragrance. Time to start packing up my bag because I really do need to leave soon. So when it comes to school, I take two laptops. I take the laptop that they gave me last year just in case I don't have service. And then I also take my MacBook. And right now I don't have a case for it, but this is it right here. And the night before school, I always charge it. Um, so I'm just going to take both of the chargers out. I don't bring my black charger, but my white charger for my MacBook I bring because it kind of dies fast. That's the reason why I have to get me a new one ASAP. But, um, yeah. Here's my book bag. Y'all want, like, uh, like, what's in my backpack to school video gift? Let me know for sure. But what I do is I put my MacBook in this part so I can be more comfortable. I put this part at the back, very, very back of my book bag. And then I just put the charger on top. And I'm also going to bring my Canon battery charger because I have content creation class today. Which is like so good. That's why I'm in love with my school. <sighs> Ouch. And then I'm going to bring my AirPods. I'm going to put my AirPods in this here. I'm going to take the $5 that I usually have for like the vending machine and just a snack if I get hungry. Which is a, ro um, a Jolly Rancher roll up. What's the roll up? And I put that in my snack compartment, which is right here. And then, yeah, I'm all set to go. So, here's the book bag on me. I'd rather it be heavy and I have everything I need. I also need to take my Bible today because today starts book love where we get 10 minutes to read. And for the first book that I'm dedicating to book love, I want it to be the Bible because I really need to study it more. So, oh, this is the best y'all get. I'm going to see if I can take some pictures later on. But as far as, you know, this video, I think that this is the end. I might upload some cute videos towards the end. But if you guys enjoyed this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. I usually try to clean up my room before I leave, but I don't have that much time. And it's actually 6.50 right now. So, I am going to... um go ahead and get ready to get dropped off this year i get dropped off in the morning i don't take the bus which is really really good because i get like an extra hour or two of well not hour or two an extra hour to an hour and a half of sleep which is really really good next year though i'll be driving my own whip i already have like the budget and planned out the people that don't know i got a job and so um just with like saving i should have a car by next summer all right, anyway, um, so yeah, let me go, y'all. I'm going to put it on two straps for today. Because I usually rock one, but we're going to see how we feel. Just a little stomach showing, but we, st we still want to stay from Um, Go like, go like and subscribe to my dog channel at. They own it right now if they watching it. Y'all can subscribe to my YouTube channel at SlimeyX. I'm gonna put it right here. Editing skills to the test. Y'all can also go follow my clothing brand page right here at Starborn Inc. Nah, you got me doing a lot right now. I'm not right gonna lie. Here.